This is Dr. John Whitcomb with News and Nutrition asking the question, does your copper plumbing in your home and your vitamin pill cause your Alzheimer's? Controversial idea. We don't have a solid effect, but here's the story. This is a fascinating story. Do you know that Alzheimer's wasn't described prior to World War II? Uh, there are multiple authors who were active, but maybe the most impressive was Dr. Boyd, who is a neuropathologist who described brains and pathology of many brains and showed that there was no Alzheimer's as late as 1938. Uh, Freud didn't describe Alzheimer's. Osler, the guy who founded Johns Hopkins University, wrote the first textbook of medicine, didn't describe Alzheimer's prior to World War II. Now, during World War II, we have a huge copper industry making brass for guns, bullets, shells. And after World War II, they suddenly had all their demand decrease and they need to do something with those copper tubes, and they figured out plumbing. So they innovated and said, we can make plumbing very easily. They offered copper piping to the Japanese who had to rebuild all their homes, and the Japanese politely turned them down. We, also, we now know that if you take copper plumbing and give it to a rabbit, give water through that copper plumbing to a rabbit, you'll get 0.1 part per million copper 2 plus. Now, that's only 0.1 part per million. The EPA says 1 part per million safe, so this is one-tenth of what's safe. Okay, but the rabbit will get plaque and neurofibrillatory tangles in their brains, just like us. And they don't if they don't have the copper in their water. Hmm, that should be interesting. So what we see happening is after World War II, we all start taking vitamin pills, and they also have copper in them. But they have a non-biological copper, the copper plus two. What's copper that humans can use and nature makes is plus one. And it's carefully protected. You have a receptor in your gut for plus one. You don't have a receptor for two. In fact, two shows up in your blood almost instantly when you take it. Whereas copper one gets bound to a receptor, and it's carefully shepherded into your liver, and it takes a couple days before it shows up in your blood. Very different biological behavior. They're almost two different chemicals. Isn't that interesting? The timing of that. So Japan has 6% of the seniors getting Alzheimer's, and Americans now have 30% in similar populations. We have five times as much in similar populations. Okay, so here's another aside. I grew up in India. I knew of no Alzheimer's as a kid. All of our pipes were iron pipes. And five years ago, I went on a trip to Burma. And when I went to a nursing home, we were taken as part of our tour to a nursing home where there were 200 elderly people living in this home. It was very charming because they didn't have a kitchen. And they didn't have a kitchen because every Burmese, to, do a, to be a good Buddhist, you have to do a good deed every day. And so the villagers all took their own responsibility to feed everybody in the nursing home. And I asked them, do you have a place to lock up the folks who get confused and disoriented and can't find their way? And they said, what are you talking about? They've never heard of it. They conferred. I said, Alzheimer's? You heard the term Alzheimer's? They've never heard of that. And they said, we just don't have that here. I have a picture of me standing next to the only pipe that gives water to that entire nursing home. And it's an iron pipe. They don't have copper. So copper at least is a smoking gun. We do know it plays an incredibly important role. The management of copper in your brain plays an incredibly important role at helping deactivate 
hydrogen peroxide and oxidizing moment. So what may be happening in Alzheimer's is that actually we have too much copper. We are getting way out of control of our proper oxidation process. So the redox system, the apple cart gets upset and we may not know the details yet. But that's where then peroxisomes get, that's where our peroxisomes get damaged and our plasmalogens get used up because their plasmalogens are the antioxidant of last resort, of first resort. And if we can't manage our antioxidant system, our brains shrink and we get Alzheimer's. That would be the hypothesis. What will work for me? I have a reverse osmosis filter after I learned all that, and I'm now actually boiling my own water, making my own distilled water. I live in a little distilled water machine so I don't get the plastic from it either. You should consider a reverse osmosis filter, but if you have copper pipes in your home, don't drink the water. And please look at your vitamin pills. If they have copper in them, don't take them. Find something that doesn't have copper. This is Dr. John Whitcomb for News and Nutrition. Please take this one seriously.